what is the cardiac cycle talking about? I mean, obviously, just from the basics, cardiac cycle is basically talking about like the flow, everything, how it, you know, like, how, like when things happen, like whether it's systole or diastole or, or, or when tubes push the blood out or suck it in, and you know, that's, that's the base of it. Yeah, good. Good. Systole and diastole, that, that's what we're, what we're talking about. It's a different muscle contraction and, and then why that pushes blood through the heart. So, uh, figure 2018. So, um, and I like to start where the blood actually comes into the atria. This starts farther up with the beating of systole. But I, and Brother Ray, like to start where blood first starts coming into the heart. So, I think in this book it's figure four, or step four. I think in the new book it's like step five. But anyway, the point's the same. So let's say a heart is just contracted, okay? Um, and so as the ventricles, so what, what is systole? When I say systole, what am I, what am I saying? I don't know if this is what I'm saying. I just know that that's when the heart contracts, so. Yeah, so if ventricles are contracting, it's systole. Ventricles are contracting. What would the ventricle is? If, if the ventricles oh. are contracting, okay. it's systole. If they're not contracting, it's diastole. Okay. If the atria are contracting, it doesn't, doesn't matter. We're it, only talking ventricle. about ventricles. It's ventricle. Okay. Yeah. So, ventricles ha just contracted, and now they're going to start to relax. So as they start to relax, they open up, and blood just fl is flows right into there. We're not like we're not really sucking the blood in. It's just it opens up and the blood's just naturally there, so it kind of just it just fills up the ventricles. So we call that diastole, passive ventricular filling. Those ventricles just relax and passively blood flows in there. Okay. Then we have diastole, active ventricular filling. So this is when the atria contract. So they're going to contract. The ventricles are going to stretch out nice and big. Um, why would why would we want the atria to stretch the ventricles out like that? More volume. Yeah, we get more volume, and also by putting that tension on the ventricles, when that ventricle does contract, it's going to have more force behind it because it's stretched a little bit, kind of like a little bit of elasticity to it, and it's going to rebound back and force the blood out. So kind of like rubber band, where if you stretch your foot, it's probably more. It's going to shoot. Yeah. So like okay. Yeah. So and, and that's startling for all the heart is the greater the preload. So the more we fill up the ventricles, the greater the stroke volume. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so anyway, so atria contract, fill up those ventricles nice and big, then they contract. So then we get systole, period of isovolumetric contractions. So they contract, but their volume stays the same. So they're tight now, but our volume is the same. Then we go systole, period of ejection, where we actually push the blood out. Mm -hmm. But we're still tight, we're still contracted. Then we're into diastole, period of isovolumetric relaxation. So once again, volume stays the same, but we just relax. Then you get um, then you get the diastole period of passive ventricular mm -hmm. filling, and we start over again. Okay, it's just understanding that you know which parts are systole and which diastole you probably just Yep. So systole ventricular contraction. And then with diastole, you have, so we're always going to isovolumetrically <coughs> contract before the actual ejection, and isovolumetrically relax before the actual relaxation. So we're, we're get big, get tight, then contract, then loosen up, and then open up. Yeah, because this all happens really fast. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, very, 